Uh, I was born in the in the Valley de Joux in '75, and uh, yeah, I was um, more focused about mechanical things. So I like uh, to disassemble uh, different things, uh, Walkman uh, and things like that. And I was really related with manual things. So, but unfortunately, or hopefully. When I had to decide about the first job, it wasn't to doing watchmaking because watchmaking is a big part of the person here are working for that. And when you are young, you are. I was, you know, maybe with that spirit of entrepreneur that uh, why doing like everybody. Uh, yeah, you have a different soul that you can doing maybe by your own. And uh, so it does mean I enroll uh, in mechanic. And after that, uh, I made a diploma uh, how to build machinery. So I, I spent six years in the uh, um, technical school in the Valley de Joux. And uh, I came back, in fact, to the, by the manufacturing uh, in the watchmaking. So it does mean my first job was in a company who was really dedicated for watch part. So that means how to doing a pinion, how to doing a barrel, how to doing a, almost any kind of uh, uh, pieces. And a day I was thinking about, this is quite nice. You know how to doing parts. You made a lot of parts for different uh, and a lot of brands. You are uh, uh, you have diploma how to build machinery. So at the end, a watch is a small machine. And from that point, uh, I started uh, in 2000 an MBA because I knew that it wasn't. It will be not something easy to do. And when I made my military school, for example, uh, I was uh, reading a, a book about MBA. So it was already also in my mind to doing something. Uh, it's good to have the technical point of view, but it's also important to have the commercial and uh, business uh, side. So it's why I, I enrolled that. And uh, yes, all of my MBA was really drive uh, about watchmaking. And my final thesis was about uh, manufacture uh, Romain Gauthier. So it does mean, yes, uh, since 2000, I'm really focused about that. And um, I'm born in the Valley de Joux. So for you to, to understand a little bit, it's like a lot of person ask me about how, how could you design that? Because you are not a designer, you, you are not a watchmaker and all of that. But you know, I was born here, and all of my life uh, I saw different design for the big brands here in the in the valley. And I think, anyway, if you don't feel you print some typical strength uh, of uh, elegant design, things that you that you like, and and for me, I think uh, I'm able to doing that because I was I was born here and I saw all of my life beautiful watches for also from big brands. So it does mean when you have to start that, you already have some some base. Anyway, if you didn't really realize that you print that. But I think it's how uh, I also came in the in the watchmaking, not only because the, uh, uh, I made parts, but also because I was born here and I, I had this fantastic chance to see that all of my life. A part of the difficulties that every brand can face is about to choose the road, uh, the road of production, the road of quantities, or the road at the end, I can say, the, to take the time. So it does mean, for me, since the starting, we don't do compromise. We have to do in a different choice in terms of uh, aesthetic, in terms of design. But if you look at logical one, it's typically a piece that if you want to achieve that level, there is no compromise. So it does mean from the design, which is complicated. After that, it's also complicated uh, at the end to doing the beveling, to doing the, the all of the polishing and all of that. So it does mean to achieve that level, you don't you need to avoid compromise. There is no compromise. And since the starting, it's it's really what we try to doing. And when I see uh, the difference between uh, we can say uh, big brands or small brand, uh, for our case is we really take the time. Uh, like beveling on on bridges can take sometimes more than 20 hours. And uh, so when it's industrially made, uh, the difference is there is no additional uh, hand. So there is. 
The design is more today, unfortunately, for many brands focused by what is able to manufacture with machinery. And uh, for me, the spirit of what uh, I have my heritage, uh, I'm born here in the Valley de Joux. So it has been uh, all of the brands that we have around in the Valley de Joux has a autorologie spirit, autorologie feeling. And I choose to continue and to uh, follow the same vision of uh, autorologie with something with a lot of uh, uh, skills uh, related with the finishing. I think we don't need a watch to know if we sleep well uh, uh, with that kind of things, you know. So, so it does mean the human don't need that. And uh, the marketing create the needs and that's the big difference. And I think the, the company, uh, I don't want to, 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 to apply names or something like that, but they are monsters in terms of marketing, in terms of publicity, in terms to, yeah, uh, um, how to build a, a, a product that is not necessary, but at the end, everybody will be exciting of, uh, with that. They will not really know about, but exciting about that. So I, I like it, I like it because it's not at all the same vision of watchmaking. What we do is something that uh, if, you, if you start to be interested with watches, there is many levels, you know, that you start with affordable, with, uh, it can be uh, something with, uh, with rubber, because uh, colors and all of that. So uh, there is many ways to be attracted by, uh, by watchmaking, by watches. And I like that. And what we do is, like I said, we don't do watches, unfortunately, for everybody. And we are really dedicated for the, um, uh, the high level. So we just produce a, a, few, a few pieces a year, 60, 80, it's nothing. It, it's nothing. So it does mean we know that uh, we, are, we are not affected by the, by the connected watches or all of that. And at the end, like Philippe Dufour uh, told me earlier, and uh, it was right, at the end, some people will never maybe wear a watch, but because it's connected, and because it's different than something mechanical, uh, what they 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 start to wear a watch, but it does mean they start to wear, and they will grow. In the if they like it to to have something on wrist, they will appreciate and grow in that. And what we do, I guess, and it was from the starting, we what we try to doing is stars for collectors. It does mean uh, they will continue to buy all of the big brands, but we are so limited that if a day those collectors will know about us, they will for sure appreciate to have some little items like that. 